While Mark and I were out poking around, we drove past this abandoned shop quick. And it looked kind of interesting, and I noticed there was another interesting business attached to it. I'd never seen that combination of businesses in one building before. That's a good sign. How did I know we were going to find an empty fireball bottle here? And of course, it wouldn't be a retail archaeology video without an abandoned drink, this time a beer. Look at how faded that sign is. But then yeah, right next to it, attached to it, is a massage place. And I get the feeling this is not what? the most reputable of massage places, I could be wrong. And that's there actually close place? too. Mark noticed there was a sign on the door that said that they had moved. I have no idea how long ago that was though. This place looks like it's in pretty rough shape, which is why it looked interesting. Obviously there's not enough here for a full retail archaeology video, but I just kind of wanted to show everybody this. It's the kind of things that Mark and I come across while we're out exploring. And luckily my arm fits through this gate here. There's a Snapple case. And that is a giant mess. I've seen worse though. This car looks like it's been abandoned as well. It's got an orange tag on there which means that it's going to be towed soon. Unfortunately the dates weren't filled out so I don't know how long it's been sitting here when that tag was put on there. It's kind of hard to see in here but we can kind of see through the uh gate here and this place doesn't look like it's been open in a very long time we didn't spend a ton of time here because we were right out on the major road and we really didn't want to attract attention to ourselves and uh, here's some pictures that I took while we were there I think that's even a really old Phoenix Suns logo. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tour of this abandoned place.